Accra, where people are packed, you know, because it's, they've seen a van, we're ready to dish out food. You, you, I mean, they don't have any district, uh, they have disregard, you know, for, for social distancing. So I'm asking whether you know or whether you know how this is going to be done, whether it's going to be done by households or it's going to be done by... Do, do, do you know how it's going to be done? Well, within the last couple of days, there has been some uh, events like that, and it has served as a learning curve for the um, authorities here. And I just want to believe that they are not going to repeat the same mistake. For instance, yesterday, there was um, an announcement that food was going to be distributed at Makion, just a few meters from where I'm standing, and um, there, there were a, a near stampede. I mean, it took the intervention of the police to disperse these crowd. Um, there have been a number of incidents as well, uh, in part of uh, Dagumba line, all of that. So uh, I just want to believe that they are going to take some clue from that and then do the right thing. In fact, uh, a typical case study, a good case study, will be how the Santahene is distributing his. Okay. Um, people are in their household, okay. so when he goes there, the team goes there, they knock because they've been able to identify the deprived communities and mm -hmm. the people there they are looking for. So when the team goes there, they just knock at your door, you come, they give you the food, and then you go back. So you hardly see people, I mean, um, crowded at a particular That's place, exactly. mm -hmm. waiting to be served. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from what the His Royal Majesty Otunfo Setutu is doing, um, I also know of a typical case of the Member of Parliament for uh, Manchia, Mm -hmm. South constituency, Matthew Puku mm -hmm. his, his is also one case that they can use as a, a, a case study mm -hmm. to, um, to execute today's um, exercise. Mm -hmm. um, his was just like the Santa Hine. They go to the, they, they have identified their the, the communities or, I mean, the, the area that they want to serve this food. So when they go there, they knock at the door, you come and then you take the food and then you just go back to your house. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm just want, I just want to believe, I mean, I don't, I don't want to play the devil's advocate, but I just want to believe that um, today we're going to see a very sanitized mm -hmm. um, exercise. Done in a, a more oddly way. Now, health workers in, in, in Accra here are privileged, you know, to be transported to and from their homes to uh, their, their various health centers. Do you see that happening in, in Kumasi or in the Ashanti region? In actual fact, this particular program was there. Um, I know Ayalulu, Ayalulu buses were transporting um, um, doctors and nurses mm -hmm. um, of working at Confanoche from um, certain places. I have met them on a number of occasions. I don't know what the, I mean, the whole thing was like, whether mm -hmm. they were paying or it was free and all of that. So oh, it is not okay. new. It's not new. It's not new. It's not new for. Um, to con I mean, Confanoche. They um, already transport their their they, workers. They have they have system or they have that system already in okay. place. So maybe the difference will be that if they were paying, maybe this time around they they, they are not going to pay. Mm -hmm. But I know for Confanoche, I um, mean staff or mm -hmm. I mean the nurses and all of that, the Arubas were transporting them even before the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Kumasi South Hospital, which is one of the isolation facilities or centers, um, I cannot speak to that, uh, whether they, they had that particular system in place. Mm -hmm. But hey, we haven't heard or we haven't had mm -hmm. any official communication to that effect. Okay. But well, we're still nosing around, maybe mm -hmm. in the course of time, because the president has said there's going to be a system like that. So I'm not sure it is going but you haven't to really seen it like that in, yes, in, in, yes, in the Shanti yes. region. Let, let, but let, like I said, yeah. for Confanochi Teaching Hospital, they had that system okay. in place already. Let's talk about uh, PPEs. There have been discussions about equitable distribution of PPEs. When we spoke to the Minister of Information the last time, when I also engaged you the last time, you spoke about the Confanochi Teaching Hospital and the concern that they don't have enough PPEs. On Sunday, uh, President Ekufado ordered the distribution of some PPEs to these uh, every health center. Do you know if any health center in the Shanti region has taken delivery of any of the PPEs? Okay, so um, I said that um, aside government, I mean, uh, providing these PPEs, other uh, corporate organizations are also doing that. For the health centers, well, um, we are not, for now, we are not hearing of any shortage. 
um, especially the two major isolation centers. Mm -hmm. But then the security men who are manning the various barriers, they don't have. Mm -hmm. I traveled to the Western North yesterday. No, that was two days ago, and I told you about that. From Enkawe or from Ebuakwa to Bibieni, mm -hmm. all the barriers that I, 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 I met, mm -hmm. the people there, the police, the military, were not, none of them was wearing even a face mask. Oh. I asked them and said, they don't have it. They don't have now, it. They don't have it. This is very problematic. This is mm. very critical because now they are there to check movements, okay? Mm. And they are unable to ascertain the status of... Um, in All the, the motorists, the yes. Yeah. Mm. All right? Mm. So then you ask yourself, are they not at risk? So maybe I just want to believe that they are going to do that. And I quite remember one of the police officers was like, please, can we have your sanitizer? But I also have an only one. And I said, if I give it to you, per what I'm going to do, that will also be problematic. So I had to dash him something so he could buy. Even That wasn't enough because where I even gave him the money, the point is who is going to provide that sanitizer for him mm -hmm. to buy? Mm -hmm. okay, and you so, said the barriers again. Take us to where, where, and where. Which barrier I did you? About, I am talking about um, the that barrier between Enkawi and Tuase. Enkawi and Kumase. Okay. And Enkawi and, and, and Tuase. Tuase. And Tuase. Okay. And Tuase. Yes. Okay. Um, the, the 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 police people there they don't have uh, the face mask. They don't have any PPE. Mm -hmm. After after Enkawi or Tuase, there's not. Oh, Evans, we, we lost you there. Uh, I, I was going to ask him about uh, how, uh, the, whether after this one, I was going to ask him about the market situation. We know that uh, the Swami market is still closed because the, the market women will not adhere to uh, the directive of social distancing. Um, I also wanted to know whether the Kumasi Central Market has been open now and whether the women are willing to, you know, go through the and take go, you know, and take the directive that has been given yeah. by by government. Well, so we, well, we lost him. What there. I know about the Kumasi mm. Central Market is that mm. it will be open tomorrow. Yes. So yesterday there was a meeting. They've reached an agreement as to how, mm -hmm. um, you know, to group the market women, women so yeah. that they can all start operating. So I know there's a red team, a yellow team, and mm. a green team. Well. And uh, there are about five thousand of them in the market, I mm -hmm. believe. So mm -hmm. then they've divided them into. Um, the, the various colors, colors. and so okay. at a point we'll have the red team well hopefully to the hopefully i hope this works because well, they remember have a because, because remember been warned because that if remember they, don't adhere, mm. they will shut down the markets for good remember the same thing happened with swami market swami market mm -hmm. where the women were categorized people had cuts mm -hmm. that said that i am working today and other women had come they didn't have the cuts yeah and and instead of ensuring that the, those who had the cuts had access to the markets they had to shut the whole market exactly and everybody went home so i'm saying that this one i'm hoping that well, well will yesterday i watched through. a few of them pleading uh to the officials to forgive them mm -hmm. for flouting the regulations mm -hmm. and they promised that they would adhere to the social mm -hmm. distancing protocol so we hope that that works but ah, I, 